things that really impressed me about Costa Rica in terms of their efforts towards sustainability. At this coffee plantation, they also grow a lot of organic coffee. Um, they also have an agreement with a women's cooperative that's um, down the road where they help the cooperative sell their coffee um, you know, through the coffee plantation. So um, they're working with others in order to achieve a larger goal of sustainability and economic um, prosperity. What sustainability practice have you seen in Costa Rica? Well, one high school was planting trees, and we went and plant, each of us planted a tree, but they plant about 5,000 trees every year, like to, re to replace ones that are non-native with native species, mm -hmm. so it doesn't like invade the soil and everything. He's, they talk about how pines made, like nothing can grow under them because the roots like made them so the soil acidic. So planting the new trees lets other things grow there too. Every hotel we stayed at and every restroom we go to, you're not allowed to flush the toilet paper because the septic tanks they have can't like hold the toilet paper. That way it, it processes better and it's less harmful to the environment. So what do you do with it? You put it in the trash can. Which it doesn't seem very sanitary. But I guess in the long run it's better to do that than to you. And you can just wash your pants right afterwards. That's true. Bathroom's cleaned every day. <laughs> Okay, and so ecotourism is a big industry out here. Oh, for sure. It's like the number one, I'm sure. Let's them preserve the area. It's without. very beautiful. You can tell they've really worked to get it back going, and it's awesome just to see how it took so little time to get it back to where it is now. It shows that you can just a little bit amount of time can really make a difference. Uh, mi amigo, Jose, uh, Jose Sainz, yes. our tour guide for the trip uh, to Costa Rica. We're at a beautiful beach today, and uh, I was going to ask uh, Jose about some things that we've done previously on the trip, uh, which was to plant some trees. In general, in different areas, we're trying to reestablish the original ecosystem. For example, in San Jose, in the major recreational park, uh, we're removing eucalyptus, we're removing pine trees, we're removing all foreign species. Species that were introduced by men. The idea for that is that by having the natural species, the native species, wildlife will have a better chance to come back. So maybe these, these trees were in some ways holding things back maybe? Yes, like the eucalyptus. Okay. Uh, heavy oils on the leaves fall down, they don't even close. So they suffocate the grass and whatever is on the Volcanoes that are here, they use the heat from them for geothermal energy. They have a lot of uh, wind turbines that we saw too. Mm -hmm. And so there's also the hydroelectric uh, plant thing. Yeah, I think Jose said 85% was hydroelectric yep. power. Do you guys remember how much gas is here per gallon? Yeah, he said it was six bucks, so um, yeah. a little different from the U.S. <laughs> well, would you guys recommend this trip? Definitely, oh, yeah. it's really cool. All yeah, right. It's been really You're welcome. You've enjoyed the trip so far. You're welcome.